I lied. I lied. We weren't all done. There is one more thing I need to show you guys, and that's error messages. How to deal with them, what they mean, and so on. So let me type something. Let's say I want to do 85 plus 6, oh, 53, and I accidentally put another symbol in there, like a comma. And it tells me error, syntax. Syntax error means you've typed something wrong. So if you hit go to, you can, it'll blink on what you did wrong. You can press delete. Now, I know you're thinking, I'm never going to put a comma in there. No, you won't. But a lot of students do negative instead of subtraction. That's a big no-no, right? So you want minus, right? So syntax error was telling us we had typed something wrong. So that's the first type of error we're going to run into. All right, let's see the next one. Um, let me see if I can create one like this. Um, let me clear these out so you can see. I'm just going to type in a simple x, oops, parentheses clear, um, x minus 2, close parentheses, squared, and I'm going to graph it just because I want you to see. Okay, so one thing I could do is I could want to find the, the minimum. So if I type minimum, right, because this graph has a minimum, and I say, oh, that's to the left, sure, and then I go over here and I press enter, my guess, oops, it found that. No, that wasn't it. Oh, I don't know. I, I did it wrong. Hold on. It found, by the way, it didn't find the minimum of the graph. It just found the minimum of the region that I was looking at. But let me try that again. I know what I forgot. So if I put, if I accidentally mess this up and have the left one over here and the right one over here, it doesn't like it. It says it's an air bound error. So that's no good. Quit. Okay, what else? Um, let's see. You could have a scatter plot on. We put a scatter plot on, and then no data. Aha, let me go up here, clear, enter. So suppose you didn't realize that you had no data. Um, actually, I'm going to leave it like that. And then you press graph, it's going to say invalid dimension, which means, hey, silly head, you're trying to do a scatter plot, and you don't have a scatter plot to do, so quit trying to do that. So you'd have to go up and turn it off. Um, another good one is, let me show you this, um, if you try to do linear regression but you only had one column of data for example same thing, invalid dimension, it doesn't have that second dimension, it doesn't have that second column of data so it can't do it. Let me go type some data in real quick so 4, 7, 9, 10 alright so then you go stat, calc, linear regression, enter Ah, now it says dimension mismatch. So you've got data now, but you don't have enough. Right? So the linear regression's still off. So go to stat, edit. So when there's nothing in here, it's going to say invalid dimension. But when there's something in there, but the two columns aren't matching. See this one's got five and this one's only got four. Then it says dimension mismatch when you try to do anything with it. Um, I think it would do it for the graph too. Let's see. Yep, there he goes. So if I try to graph it, it's still trying to do that here scatter plot, but the scatter plot dimensions are mismatched to each other, so it can't do it. Oops, poof, I know, sorry, that was a little magic. I had to go back and look and see a couple more mistakes. Um, another big mistake students will make, let me turn off the scatter plot here real quick. Um, if you make your window x min too big, here, let me try this. If I make the x min 10 and the x max 5, notice that's no good, right? The min is larger than the max. Max has to be bigger. When you graph, it says window range, meaning, hey, your window range is all off. You can't do that. right? And you go back into it and you realize, oh, I meant negative 10, you know, or something like that. Then it would graph it because then your min is lot smaller than your max. One more thing. If I make this equation down here, hold on, let me go in here and make it have a minus sign, like minus 3 or something. Then when I graph it, let's suppose I want to find this zero, so I go to calc and I pick zero, and it's saying left bound, which is over here somewhere. There it is, enter, and then I move over to the right bound and I press enter. Now notice what's not in between these two numbers I picked, the zero. So it'll say this, no sign change. It has to be that one number was positive and one number was negative. You can't have them both be on the same side when you graph it. Right? You can't pick left and left. you got to be left and right. All right, that's it for the errors.